Big Ten athletic directors are meeting in Chicago right now. In Chicago right now to, to discuss the 2023 football schedule. And remember, as we have said, the Big Ten doesn't want to do a Michael Scott at the office. Snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap in their decision making when it comes to the future and how they're going to lay out the Big Ten Conference 2024 and beyond. So we're going to get major hints at what they're thinking for 2024 with their decisions for 2023. So we're going to be talking about that. There is a, a report in the St. Paul Pioneer Press by the great writer Andy Greeter. He tells us, Mark Coyle told us, the athletic director of the University of Minnesota, that they're meeting in Chicago. They left, Mark Coyle left the Gopher game in Spartan Stadium right after, in Saturday, to go in Chicago with the rest of the Big Ten to finally get some decisions made. This is the big story of today, an underreported story. We're going to give it to you here at Peek Around the Corner, episode 59. And unfortunately, we're going to have to go over my collapse, my picks for week four. Did the collapse finally happen? Yes, it did. And then we're going to quickly talk about the Yellow Jackets hot board 1.0, as it's been reported in the Atlanta Constitution that both the head coach, Jeff Collins, and Stan Berry, the athletic director, are being let go. That will become official today. The hot board 1.0 has started for the Yellow Jackets. Georgia Tech, rambling wreck. Now, I probably should have called that hot board 0.5. We'll get to that in, in a second. Let's get first through my picks, then the hot board, and then we're going to get to the big story. Big 10 athletic directors meeting in Chicago right now. Okay, first, let's get to my predictions of week four going into week four we had peek around the corner we're 16 10 and one we were flying high no worries however i asked does the collapse happen this weekend and unfortunately it did week four picks wake forest plus seven we covered that wake forest lost by six in overtime to clemson they almost won that game kansas minus nine a lot of you people out there did win this pick because the line went down to Kansas minus seven. But when I made the predictions, it was minus nine. And I thought that was good enough for Kansas to cover. And, well, we lost. We lost that game. Notre Dame, UNC under 59 and a half. That went way over 59 and a half. Even though the Tar Heels have a horrible defense, I didn't think Notre Dame was going to put up 40-some points. So I got blown out in that game. Minnesota minus two and a half. They clobbered the Spartans. 34-7. Easy cover. Tennessee minus 11. Oh, Florida. 38-33. Tennis wins that, Tennessee wins that game. I should not have. Anytime Tennessee and Florida plays, something screwy happens. Tennessee won. They're a top 10 team. But they did not cover. Oregon needed a late touchdown, late miracle to beat Washington State. I lost that game. Rutgers, seven and a half. Seven and a half. I thought that would be plenty against Iowa. I was wrong. Rutgers again. Shiano has done a great job at building that roster. But the quarterback room is not performing at all. I thought Wimsat would be ready. I was hoping he would be ready for for the Rutgers, the young guy, the young quarterback, but he's not ready. The other quarterback, Simon, he's not ready. Rutgers do not does not have a quarterback to compete in the Big Ten in 2022. They got blown out by Iowa's defense. Oklahoma minus 13. They lost the game. Adrian Martinez, beautiful run at the end of the game. Kansas State defeats Oklahoma. I go two and six. Two and six. The collapse happened. I am overall 18, 16, and 1. So I'm barely above water. If you, if you were just talking fantasy here, if you put $100 in each of my games, you'd be up $40. If you include the juice of minus 110 on average for these games, 
you would be up only $40. So my head, my mouth is a barely above sea level. So tomorrow, Tuesday, I get my picks out for week five. We have to have a big week. We have to have a big week. I got some games that I'm looking at. Washington, UCLA, Kentucky versus Ole Miss, Oregon State versus Utah, Iowa State versus Kansas. Ooh, Kansas versus Iowa State. Campbell versus Leopold. LSU versus Auburn. Could that be Brian Harson's last game as head coach as Auburn? Or could this be people see the reality that LSU is not going to have a very good season here in 2022? Brian Kelly is stumbling for the first season at LSU. And then the West Virginia-Texas game. I got a little bit of an angle on that game. All that tomorrow on our predictions. Let's get to the hot board real quick. Let's get to the hot board real quick before we get to our major story that the Big Ten Athletic Directors are meeting right now in Chicago. Again, hot board 1.0. Jeff Collins is being fired officially today according to the Atlantic Constitution and the athletic director will no longer be there. So they have to get a new athletic director. That's why maybe this should be 0.5, right? I mean, how can you really have a hot board when you don't have the athletic director to make the decision? So, but we're going to call this 1.0, and this is probably going to stick for a while. Jamie Caldwell, Coastal Carolina head coach. We think he's number one on the board, our first board for the Yellow Jackets. Incredible, successful coach at Coastal Carolina. His family has indicated they want him to stay in the South. I think he's ready to jump. Coastal Carolina loses their brilliant quarterback after this year. I think he's ready to jump, and Georgia Tech might be that perfect spot for him. Might be that perfect spot for him. And I've got the other guy, Alex Adkins, has been doing a terrific job. If Coastal Carolina wants to go in a different direction and a, and, and a successful assistant coach, now coordinator, at a Power 5 program down the South who, who, who had some time working at Georgia Southern. That Alex Adkins, that's the name to look for. Offensive line coach, added the title of offensive coordinator this year at Florida State. Alex Adkins, Jamie Caldwell, Caldwell that's who we have, the top two spots. We're going to leave this third spot blank for now. Yellow jack Jackets, hot board, 1.0. We probably won't revisit this for a while. We'll see how the search goes for the athletic director for Georgia Tech. Anyways, let's get to the big story of the day here at Peak Around the Corner. Here at Inforum. Talks about the Gophers win, Andy Greeter, St. Paul Pioneer Press, September 24th in the evening. We're going to go right down to the scheduling here. Underreported story. I think it's going to get reported on a lot today and tomorrow. Let's get to it here at Peek Around the Corner. Just quickly, in the article, Gophers Athletic Director Mark Coyle is headed to Chicago after Saturday's game to meet with fellow Big Ten ADs, athletic directors, to determine football schedules for the 2023 season. Coyle said on the KFXN FM pregame show that a few of the subjects, so he's not naming all the subjects, hang with me on this, guys and gals, that the few of the subjects to be figured out, to be figured out, not just to be discussed, to be figured out to finally hammer some decisions home in this hot window of decision. Figured out include the future of divisions and whether they keep a nine-game conference schedules. To whether they keep a nine-game conference schedules. Let's go over that one more time, and then we're gonna do a deep dive into this. Again, we at Peek Around the Corner think everything is important at college football. Everything we go into, every kernel of information, be it reported or be it given intel by us through BTM and his associates, 
We flip it around. We dissect. We do deep dive. We think this is very intriguing at the very least and probably very important. Carl said, and back to the article, Carl said on KX, KFXN FM pregame show that a few of the subjects to be figured out include the future of divisions and whether they keep a nine-game conference schedule. Okay, so first of all, he says to be figured out. So they anticipate to make some decisions in Chicago. That's how I read it. Now, again, before we do the deep dive, please leave your comments down in the comments section below the video. I read them all. I want to hear them. I want to hear what you have to say. And please hit the smash that like button. If you like our content to our video, please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you so very much. But they're going to to be figured out. They expect to get decisions made they're not having a zoom meeting the athletic directors are not staying in evanston illinois and ann arbor michigan right they're going to chicago to figure this out and in that is future divisions and whether they keep a nine game conference schedule so you mean are you telling me at this date last week was september 2022 that they still don't know if they're going to keep a nine-game conference schedule for 2023? Why would that be? Why would that be? Look, I'm just speculating here. And I want you to speculate along with me. I would like to think it's an educated speculation, but I'll let you determine that. Nine-game conference schedule. They're trying to figure out if they're going to keep a nine-game conference schedule. Well, they're not going to eight games. They're not going to eight games. They just signed this huge, massive media deal. They're expanding from 14 schools to 16 schools. So we're talking about are they keeping nine games conference schedule in football or are they going to 10? That's the question. And if they have, if they're going with, just 16 schools, right, for 2024. Now, remember, we don't believe the Big Ten's doing the snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap. What they're doing 2023, we believe, will give us a great hint to what they're going to do in 2024 and beyond. So for 2023, it would be easy for the Big Ten to say, okay, let's, let's just stay with the nine-game conference schedule. Let's not change anything. And let's put out the decision for 2024. But they're not. That's not what this report is. This is about 2023. They determine the football schedules for the 2023 season. So they're actually making a decision whether they stay at 9 or go to 10 for 2023. And why would they be doing that? Why would 10 games, 10 game conference schedule? Be part of an op, be an option for 2020, 2023. Remember, if it's a nine game schedule and you have three permanent rivals with 16 teams in 2024, it works really good. You have three permanent rivals, six games, not permanent rivals, every year. So you're playing every team in the Big Ten. With no division, 16 no, teams, no division. You play them every other year. And your permanent rivals every year. It works out beautifully. But yet, they still haven't made that decision to go with just nine games conference schedule for 2023. And then keep it going in 2024 when they go to no divisions. Of course, according to this report, they're figuring out the future of divisions. I think they're going to no divisions. That's 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 our speculation here at Peek Around the Corner. But again, they still haven't made that solid decision yet, according to this report. 
I find the fact that they haven't made that concrete decision on whether to keep the nine-game conference schedule. They might go to 10. I think it gives you a window of what they're thinking that 2024, 2025, 2026 is going to look like. In other words, ladies and gentlemen, I think the window of expansion the Big Ten is still wide open. Still wide open. Because why would they even consider going to 10 games in 2023? I think this says a lot. I think this report, as small as it is, as little information as it gives, I think it gives a lot. Now remember, let's go back to the article. Just one second. Let's just go back here. Gopher's athletic director, back to the article, is headed to Chicago for after Saturday's game. So they're meeting right now, right? They're not going to just sit around all week in Chicago. Every, all the athletic directors left Chicago Saturday. They're meeting in Chicago, so they're meeting right now. Right now. Coyle said in the pregame show that a few of the subjects to be figured out. So they're going to be figuring out more than just these subjects. This is the decision time for the Big Ten. They want to get this done. No more ambiguity. They want solid. They want to lay this foundation out. Coyle in the pregame show showed that a few of the subjects to be figured out. No more discussion. Let's figure it out. Include the future of divisions. So, I guess there's a slight chance they keep divisions. I think it's a very slight chance. But, it's out there. And whether they keep the nine-game conference schedule. Let me know what you think down in this comment section below the video. I think we're going to get major hints to the window of what they're thinking, of what they think is still possible. What the athletic directors of the Big Ten still think is possible in 2024, 2025, 2026, as they make the decisions for the 2023 schedule because we have been told and we have reported on it for months, Big Ten does not want to do Michael Scott vasectomy in the show called The Office. Snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap. They do not want to do drastically different in 2023 as they want to do in 2024 and beyond so again leave me your comments please smash the like button and subscribe to our channel and share this video with your family and friends this story is going to get reported later today on monday and tuesday and wednesday and i think it could be a huge massive story stick with us at peek around the corner stick with us buckle up brace for impact a lot of things going to be happening here in this hot window of decision making as we reported in July. So stick with us. Again, until next time, from all of us at Peek Around the Corner to all of you, please, you all take care of each other. Thank you so very much.